I'll wait for him to say something. <laughs> I'll show you a little more. <laughs> Done good, sweetheart. God bless you. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I've been in trouble before. Yeah. I stay in trouble. <laughs> Glad to be here tonight. Glad to see y'all too. Heat is hard to know if you're going to be wherever. <laughs> you know, this heat is something else. I'm trying to work on my porch. I had to oh, um, redo my front porch. And man, that heat is something else. You can't hardly do nothing at 9 o'clock. <laughs> you know, it's almost a, the, bell, the bell goes off. It's time to get back in the house and stuff. And, uh, but, uh, you know, God help, help with all the wisdom strength to do us all, to do all things through him who strengthens, strengthens us we can do all things amen. nothing's impossible amen come on you know, so and I, I asked her to do that song tonight because it, it fits just right in there what I was wanting to, to do tonight the message for the for the night and stuff <laughs> as I started thinking about you know uh, the things we pursue after you know we pursue and after all kind of different things that, and you know we want the best of things, you know, you don't, you don't want junk, <laughs> you know, Amen. God ain't made us junk, you know, he made us above, Amen. Amen. we're above, we're, Amen. It said we're the head, not the tail, Amen. you know, we're above everything, you know, and, and so, uh, uh, I, for a little title, I came up with, I'm coming after you, Jesus, <laughs> come on now, come on now, that's right, you know, Amen. people, you know, People more or less running from the from the Lord. You know, you should be running towards the Lord. Amen. You know, everything should be pointing towards heaven, Amen. not pointing the other way. <laughs> Don't get the thumbs down, get the thumbs up. Amen. Come on, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Yeah, I had me a little Jesus. I got me some a couple of little Jesus T-shirts from from Walmart. <laughs> you would think Walmart be in Jesus. Well, he has every night that I go there. Come on. Anyway, so. <laughs> So we have to look at it like that, you know, because it, it's a, it's a, it's a, 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 a onward pursuing of Him, you know, because when we were out there in the world, we pursued everything else. You know, we tried to be the best drunk, we could be the best drunk. <laughs> if we are going to do dope, we are going to be the best doper that was out there, you know. We're going to be the best of whatever, you know. Amen. The, uh, the, the, the womanizer, the crowder, or whatever you want to call them, the person out there, the, the, the bar hog, the bar... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be the best at it, you know, and, and, and stuff. And so, you know, God, so let's give God our best. That's Amen. what it's about, giving God Amen. our best. The best of what's Lord. in us for his, for his glory and to be able to, to help the kingdom grow. Because we're about growing the kingdom, you know, and loading up the truck, loading up the boat, loading up the train, whatever you can load up, let's load it up and take it so we, so we don't go, you know, it's not a, a single man's journey. It's, it, we're trying to take it. We're taking everything and, and everybody with us, you know. As he says, his, uh, all this here should pass away, but uh, you know, uh, uh, but, you know, his, what he's going to give us is eternal, and that's what it's about. Uh, that that it return, the eternal rewards and that eternal uh, uh, thing with, with with him and stuff. And uh, for the open scripture, I, I thought about Matthew, the uh, uh, 16th chapter. Am I loud enough? Yeah. I am loud enough for everybody, right? Step on. But, uh, I've got all kinds of contractions up here right now. Everything's here, right here in his hand. He's been working up here. But the, uh, Matthew, the 16th chapter, verses 24 through 28, and stuff in verse 24 says, then said Jesus unto his disciple, If any man will come after me, he didn't say, you know, go ask somebody. He says, Come after me. Let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Come on. For Amen. whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Because it wasn't much of a life anyway without him. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Amen. For what is a man profit if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? 
For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father and his angels, and then he shall re, uh, reward every man according to his works. Amen. You know, you can't, you can't uh, think that works is just going get to you, get you salvation. You can't, it, it's not, you, Christ was the only one that was, he did the works. And he did the works on the cross by shedding of the blood yes. of his own blood for the, for the, for the remission of sins. Verse 28 says, Verily I say unto this, There be some standing here which shall not taste of death till the sun, till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Amen. His, his kingdom come, his will be done. Amen. You know, and so I, I, I've seen that, you know, and, 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 and kind of like, you know, like I can say, pursuing after Christ, <laughs> you know, and, you know, getting more and more of him. You know, that's what we talked about the last uh, time I was here, the, the one and one, getting enough of it so we can be the disciple uh, and, and get, go out and, 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 and bring that light to the world. <laughs> that Amen. darkened world, it says, the, dark, the world is dark with sin. And, and we, we be that light that's in that darkened world. They'll see it and they'll want God. And they'll want more of Him. They won't they want, want Buddha. And they won't want, they want, want Muhammad. And they won't want all those things. They'll want God. Come you know, on now. And, you know, Amen. We've seen all the things that's going on in the world, you know, and stuff. And, the, and now we see the attacking the church. You, know, you, you hear, hear all kinds of stuff on it where they're attacking the church. You know, they're saying where, I think, was y'all telling me where they had, they said, uh, Lacey County has to pull in here and they're trying to uh, keep an eye on the churches because they, they, they expect more of the, uh, the uh, stuff for uh, meanness that people do to, to come in, uh, uh, against the church. You know, like I say, first thing this morning, some kid, some kid walked in there. He was an irate boy, just cussing everybody out. You know, I've been, here, I've been in here for thirty minutes. The doors on been open ten minutes, sir. How can you be in here for thirty minutes? <laughs> you know, <laughs> but he's been, he's been waiting thirty minutes. You know, he ain't wait, waited yet. You know, but he better, he, he better, hug, hug, you know, find salvation and find, you know, because the, the world there's a, there's a, there's a, a, a world out there that, that, that's, that's, that's it's one that does the, the uh, hurt, hurt the, uh, the uh, salvation and its grace. And so, uh, first point says we have to, to make a spiritual stand and surrender our hearts for an anchor in heaven's soil. That's what about getting a piece of heaven. Yeah. You, you get a piece of heaven in your heart, that's Jesus and that love that he has. You get that piece of heaven in your heart, you have it. You have it. all you need. To, uh, to, to uh, sustain you for the for your day, you know what I'm saying? You know that's why we when, when you start your day, you better start it with prayer, not just Amen. eggs and bacon. Amen. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You know a good breakfast is good, but a good prayer it lasts a lot, uh, lasts all day. You know <laughs> and stuff. And so you know you have to have to uh, 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 keep him first, put him first in, in, in everything we do. Be mindful of him daily. You know that's what it's about. Being, it says, be uh, waiting at, 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 uh, at, at, the, at, uh, at the gate, you know, and anticipate this coming, pursuing after him all the day long. And point two, it says, salvation is a, a determination in, the, in, the, in, the, uh, in a time of desperation and in, in, in a life of bumpy roads. Because yeah, mm -hmm. when we was out there in the world, you know, like I say, you know, you looking for something to, to go after, you know, you looking for friends that, that, that did the things that weren't right, you know, you have a, a friend, a rough friend, that was the one, you know, you, you stood by the closest, you know, and so we got we got to stick by the one that's the closest to Jesus. Amen. We got to get as close as we can to Jesus, especially in these latter days where, where trouble, you know, just stirs us in the drop of a hat, you know. You could be going down a road and somebody pull, pull up and blow you away. You know, you can Come on. churches, you know, they don't mind. There's no sanctity. They can walk walk in a church and walk in. You know, and there's, there's a, we just had a Walmart that some, some man walked in and, and, and killed about five people or something like that there. You know, you know, it's, no, it's no, nowhere that's, that's safe. So he is our he is our safety. He says he's like a, a, a strong tire. We can run into him for salvation and stuff, and we can run in there and, and find find peace in our and 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 and, 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 and uh, uh, safety in him, and not in the things of the world, and not of the world. 
It says, be not conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And our mind should be mindful of him Amen. and mindful of, our, uh, of the things that he's trying to give us. He's trying to give us everything of, of, of the kingdom that he can give us. But well, we just have to be uh, have our antennas up hearing, it, hearing that little small voice and wanting, wanting those things. You know, he kept, the Holy Spirit's not going to force anything on you. He wants you to be open in your spirit so he can pour those things in us. He said he'll pour us and fill us like, uh, like uh, and it'll come out of us like living water. He'll just put so much in you, it's got to come back out. Come on, man. <laughs> you know, you're around somebody, boom, somebody starts getting all that negative stuff going, you'll just push out something that says, that, 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 that uh, uh, conquer all that. Because what's in us is, is, is over, is, uh, makes us overcomers. Amen. And stuff. And part three, it says, a humble heart and a spirit find the path of righteousness and, and, and a love that only a, a life in Christ can bring. Because that's what it is, a life in Christ. It's not our life. Because we laid our life down. When we got to come down to that altar, we laid our life down. Come on. And we picked up that cross and followed him. Amen. And followed him. So now that we follow him, we're going to follow what, do what he, do like what the other thing was, WWD, do what Jesus would do. And ain't what the world would do. Don't do what the world would do. Do what Jesus would do. Come you know, on. have that love that Jesus has. You know, that's where the, the church has to have that love. That, and then that passion and, and the drive to, to, to bring more into the kingdom. So, so because, uh, you know, the, the mass, the numbers against the, those, those uh, because he said he didn't come, but to, to, to destroy the works of the devil and the works of evil. He just come to destroy those things because, he, he, you know, because everything that was against the kingdom is not is not of God and, and, and should not even be uh, on our, you know, it, in our vocabulary is where we, uh, uh, want to uh, put those things aside. Point four: What can we, uh, uh, what we can deny, we can overcome, and leave as junk in the valley of death. Because in, in, in Psalms 23, four, if you will, probably most everybody knows that. But 23 and four says, "Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for Thou art with me, and Thou rod and Thou staff Thou comfort me." Because just like that shepherd with that with that rod, you know, he he pops something on the nose, it left. <laughs> he didn't, he, you know, like David, he fought the bear and all that. There, he didn't care. He he go out there. He he was just a young kid, but they left him out there with that flock of sheep, and he he protected them with everything he had. And that's what God wants to protect us with everything that He Amen. has. Amen. The whole the whole uh, kingdom of heaven is at our hand. He's when they when when they was in the garden and and, and they uh, they come down to, to take him and stuff and you know and and, and, and they jumped up and cut the ear off the off the soldier you know. You know, he wasn't scared. He said, I could have sent out all the, all the hosts of heavens and they could, they could rescue him right out of there. But that wasn't what he wanted to do. You know, Come on. He, he knew he had a purpose. And that's what we see in him is a purpose. We can, it gives us more, it gives life, our life more purpose when we have him in us. Because without him in us, well, there is no purpose in our life. It seems like it's, it's, just, it's just, you know, boom. You know, it's, just, it's, not, it's not much substance to it. And stuff. And uh, uh, point five says the reward of heaven is not a handful of candy, but a life of eternal. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, when the little kid, you, they did something right, you give them some candy, you know, and, and stuff. You know, uh, that ain't the way the rewards of heaven are. You know, the rewards of heaven. You know, they're gonna be uh, 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 crowns handed out. You know, I know John got quite a bucket full of them. I don't know if they, go, they might have to have a truck. I don't know. Because he's got a great heart. He's a good heart, a heart, and that's what makes a great pastor, a person with a great heart. And I'll tell you, that's a great heart. A man with a great heart, my dear. Amen. He's always been great for us. And so, and so uh, point six, and it says, When we are fully persuaded and walking in the fullness of the Spirit, nothing can separate us from grace that abounds. And I'd like to go over to uh, uh, Romans 8 and uh, 8 and 16. I don't have to flip to all these. I'm just going to say a few. 8 and uh, 16 says, The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children then heirs and heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with Him, that we may be also uh, glorified together. 
For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Because that's what his glory, when he, he, he uh, we, we glorify him and, stuff, and, and lift him up, others will see these things and they'll want more of him. Because people just say, because that's the thing, you, you know, you got something good, somebody wants something of some it, you got something that stinks or <laughs> that's about dead, no, no, nobody wants none of that. You know, they would run from that. Or a piece of junk. You drive a junk, somebody ain't going to want to ride. You, know, you driving a new Ferrari, that's like I say, it was like they're showing that, that rascal of John Zena. He bought, he went to, he bought a car from Ford and stuff, and it was like a 460 thousand dollar uh, sports car and stuff. But in the fine print, he had to, he had to keep it at least 24 months before he could sell it. <laughs> well, he said he, he he flipped the car you know, in, in price, and he, he sold it for more before the 24 months. And they actually tried to sue him, sue him for 500 thousand <laughs> and stuff and stuff. But he he he, uh, he actually was able to settle with with, with Ford and stuff. But it, it, see, sometimes we have to write to read the fine print. The devil he gives us this sweet little contracts and all the things he can he can give you. But you better read the fine print. Yeah. It's gonna be a, a, a place with him in, 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 a, in, in hell, in a lake of fire, and that's not what you want. Come God on. said He'll give us a, a eternal reward. That, 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 that He's gone away, but He's coming again, and He's receiving us under Him and take us to a place where there's many mansions, not one. Come on. You know, you might go into a little gated community, see all these little mansions, but that's not that's not just just a speck of what God did. Has for 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 us the, those that, that are willing to, to to do His purpose and do His will and to, and to pull it to Him and, and and be able to help those sick and hurting because that's what it is the world out here that's sick and, and hurting and they need God. Amen. And so point seven says when we speak love we walk in truth and good works will follow because when you start walking in the truth. You know, if people if people hear, they'll change. Their lives will change. Just like your life changed when somebody told you the truth. Or you realize the truth in your heart. That God was the only thing for you. The only thing that could change you or the one that could, could make the change in you. Family couldn't do it. That's right, come on. You know, you, you know your, 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 your occupation couldn't do it. Money couldn't do it. You know, those things can't do it. It's a, it's a realization that He is your only hope. And He is the hope of the world. Point for eight, and I'll close out with that, with that one there. It says, it says, don't claim a shout of promise, but shout of victory, charge. I'm, I'm coming after you, Jesus. Come on. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming after you, Jesus. And that's why I tell, tell the Internet people and stuff. And by the way, the, the Internet wants to know what's with the chair. <laughs> the guy sent me that way. Like, what's the big deal? He said, what's with the chair? <laughs> I said, get in it. <laughs> get in it, we'll talk. <laughs> come down, come down and get in it. <laughs> yeah, and because uh, it says we're seated with him in heavenly places. That's what the chair is about. <laughs> Being seated with him. Amen. Yeah. And I want to be seated at that table where, where the lamb, the, the lamb supper, when they, when they, we'll, we'll all be there with our family and, and stuff. You know, we want to be there and, 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 and that. And stuff, but you know, like I said, I put this together you know, for today and stuff. Because you know, you know, I know uh, God wants us to have that, and I also got a little little joke here and stuff. But like I said, for the internet people, just find a find place with God. You know, be persuaded to, 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 to follow after Him, to, to seek Him. It says if you seek Him, you'll find Him. If you, the, you, He stands at the door and, and knocks, if you open the door, he'll, he'll, He's there for you. Amen. And he'll, he'll, he'll save you. And, 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 and He's prepared a place in that place He wants to have you there with Him. Because that's what your family wants. They want everybody wants to be together. That's what makes a family when it's all together. When you have family everywhere, that's not a family. That's a group. Come on. <laughs> that's a club. Yeah. <laughs> but when everybody's together, that's family. Amen. 
But here's this little joke I put together here for us. It's called homework. It says a, a, a fifth grade school teacher asked the kids, he says, what does a chicken give you? First student raised his hand and says, meat and eggs. <laughs> the teacher answered, very good. Now, what does a pig give you? Another little student raised his hand and said, ham and bacon. The teacher said, oh, okay, great. And what does uh, the, the fat cow give you? Little Johnny from the back raised his hand and said, more homework. <laughs>